Hello, Acto Sage here on the Sage channel. And I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys something that has been built with uh, the help of quite a few people. It's the Community House. And it's not through this gate, it's, well, we're already through the gate. This is Conrad Larson's wall, by the way. I live in his kingdom in a medieval engineer's multiplayer world. And behind us, we have, well, that's not the community house. That's Conrad and Scott's house, Scott's dragon. He's on the server too. They're not currently in. We're going to leave their house be. It's up to them if they wish to show that off. They even run past his farm, but no. This is the community house that I and quite a few other people put together on a stream recently. It started out as just being a square house over a mine, but, well, as more and more people ended up flooding through that gate that I left open over there, because, well, the best way to keep a wall intact is just simply to let people go around it or through it so they don't knock it down or dig under it. So I let them in, and they ended up being very helpful, and we ended up building this community house. What was originally supposed to be, as I said, a square house, just more for myself, became quite the structure for, well, quite a few people. So, go ahead and close this door. And this first simple room, we have a few shelves with extra blueprints for things, or, well, upgrades for, if I was to go ahead and click on this. If you wanted to learn carpentry, you could right-click on one of those. And we have a community food chest for the people here, so we were all trying to be, well, cautious on our food. Just like to say, I also did update this room since making the video. This is what it looks like now. I like it more. Uh, we were actually given quite a few bits of food from kind people that came, dropped off, and ran off again. It was very, very good, and, uh, well, much appreciated to those folk. To the left here, we have two bedrooms, a PPW's room. It's a bed, yep. And a door there that leads to a balcony, as well as a nice little door here to a Numb Nuts, or USS Numb Nuts room, who has lost his claim on the bed because he went ahead and built his own house house elsewhere, but the doors should still be set up for him to use. By the way, this leads out to the same balcony. They share a balcony because they were the first two people to show up, and these were the first two rooms I originally put in. After that, we ended up with quite a few more people that showed up, and I decided to make this room, well, instead of a square house, that's where it started to get a lot longer, and you can see we had a fair few more beds. I don't think this one or the one over there ever got claimed, but we had a few more extras just in case more people showed up. And you can see, we had a fair few people. We had Swampy, we had uh, Lexaton, he's a YouTube guy, he does YouTubes as well. Don't know much about him, except for that he's South African, has a pretty cool voice. GamePro42, that's Cold Jack 42 On my streams, he showed up, pretty cool. mj for wilton uh, Zoc claimed he's good, and I've seen him before, so he was Geo Miner, or Dude Geo Miner. So, all these people here, as well as APPW and uh, Numbnuts, I keep wanting to call them something else, but Numbnuts, USS Numbnuts, all helped build this house. I basically did a lot of the planning, and they went and gathered resources and built it all up. Carrying on to the second floor, you'll see that we have a little storage space that I never put anything in, but it was just more room in case we needed even more beds. Carrying on through here, we're on the second floor now, looking down, got our two little overlooks I'm sure you saw on the outside to overlook the world. Not too much lighting in here, I'm sort of worried it'll lag the game out. And as we carry on this way, we do have two more bedrooms these were sort of the last things to be finished as the roof went in. Uh, and currently no beds in there because we don't really have anyone else to put in here. And, uh, well, I could move the beds out from down here, but it would require them to reclaim it. For now, we'll just leave those as is. Only other thing really to show on this floor is if we head back through this lovely door here. Which, by the way, if you don't know medieval engineers, you can give ownership to people of things or... Not necessarily ownership, but like this, I can share it with my house. I can also get, set it to a key group, so if I give somebody an iron key, anyone I gave an iron key to will be able to access that door. Or I can even go share it with specific people, which is what I did for a lot of this stuff, is I shared it with specific people. Like this here. It's not going to show them because they're offline, but it would have their names listed. Anyway, through this door is actually my bedroom. It's a slightly larger bedroom, but well, equally as scant as the other ones, really. Nice little bed there stuck for me, and a nice icon that you can make your own custom icons in the game. So that was pretty nifty. Anyway, that's it for the main bulk of the house. Let's go ahead and head outside really quick, and we'll do it through this workshop of mine. And this is my own personal workshop area. Only Conrad or anyone actually in the clan or the house, the 
yeah, it's like a guild, but it's called a house, uh, are allowed to actually come through these two doors here. Everyone else I sort of locked out, so all the kind folk in the community house sleeping over there, unfortunately, would not have access. But I do have some stuff here. We had a lot of this iron that was given us to somebody, and Swampy's the one who actually gave us these bandages. But you can see that I have my own research station out where I was making some research progress with Millstone and all that fun stuff that you need to progress farther. Out this door, I am planning at some point to put a stone tower or structure of some sort in to continue to the slightly sprawling structure of the community house. But for the time being, it's just a stairwell leading us down. With some stone storage here, these are actually modded into the game, but I highly suspect that these will actually be added to the game eventually where you can store more stone in here and actually shows up on the screen here is real stuff in the real world, which is really awesome. Remember how I said this was originally built over a mine as well? The mine is still right here fully functional, as in you can bring a pickaxe down here and start mining away. And you can see most of the struts under this house are actually just wood. And there's actually a lot of open space right here where I had feared at one point we might have a cave in. Luckily, no such thing did happen. Carrying on over here, ignore those, those were accidentally placed. We have some wood stockpiles. These are actually in the vanilla game. If you don't know, these work just like those stone ones I was showing you, where the stone stuff, or the wood in this case, actually shows up on top of here. It's such an incredibly awesome feature. Same for these wood logs that have been shaved down from the original, just, well, standard logs to the timbers. Alrighty, well, what else do we have here? We run past the balcony and you can see all the farmland to our right. But before we get to that, our original little work area. Original crafting table and research tables because only one person can use these at a time. So I started putting in a few more for everyone. It's a bit haphazard and it'll probably be destroyed or moved later, but for the time being, it should do the trick for anybody who happens to visit the community house. Moving along this way, we have our two sort of farm overlook structures and then the farm land itself. And the best way to look at this would be to go up here so we can look down upon the farms. And we have two rather large farm crops here, mostly wheat, but you can see, especially on the one here on the right, it's pretty well mixed together with oodles of different things from flax to pumpkins to cabbages, all sorts of good stuff all over the place. And on the far end of the left one, you'll see other stuff as well. And uh, we also do have some storage up here just to store some things. A lot of it's been used to replant at the moment, so not too much in our stockpiles. And then we have even more stockpile over here on this one, which is currently still empty. And you know what? I'm gonna go check that mine out really quick because that wasn't there when I logged off last night at about two in the morning. It was a fantastic stream, but I gotta go check. It looks like a mine. Somebody definitely did set up a nice little mine. Uh, they no longer have a claim to it though. Interesting, nice little start to a mine though. Anyway, that's pretty much it for um, the community house. I'm quite happy with it. I'm looking forward to uh, Conrad's response to it, considering when he logged off last night, it was still just the cubic foundations of the original square house I was planning on building, and not so much the whole huge compound we do have now. Oh, and by the way, you see all these tiny trees here? We had basically cleared this whole area and kept it clear because we were using up so much wood building everything. It's quite the thing. Anyway, thanks a bunch everybody who helped come and build. Thanks a bunch everybody who watched during the live stream and everybody watching now. Thanks a bunch for watching, and I shall see you all next time. Ta-ta. And now I'm going to go harvest and replant my crops because I enjoy doing that.